Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. So today, uh, kind of taking, took a little break there from videos for a little while, well, videos all together in general with YouTube, just had to take my time. Uh, some of you guys know why, thank you very much. Um, but we're gonna take a small hiatus because I'm still trying to work out my next uh, starting up video. We're gonna finally do our little bitty review on the uh, Quinn metric six-point sockets from Harbor Freight. Uh, why? Well, I've had these uh, going around six months now, and with a coupon, they were $10, and uh, been using these pretty steadily. Um, no impacts on them yet, but have been using them in place of where I would my snap-on or my blue point sockets. Give them a feel on how they're gonna perform. And so we're gonna take a look at them and we're gonna compare them to sockets that I've used as much as, if not a heck of a lot more. Actually, I have used them a heck of a lot more than the Quinns, because I've heard other people uh, talk about comparing them to blue point. They've talked about comparing them to uh, Cobalt. And uh, well, we're going to compare some somewhat apples to apples because uh, what do we have here? We've got the 13 in Quinn and we've got the 13 short in Cobalt. Come on, focus, focus. There you go. So, oh, my finger's covering it. That's all right. They're laser etched uh, versus obviously that one. So focus there we go so it's about as close as i can get without you know trying to go find one and then use another cobalt socket for six months so you guys will just have to do with what i got and uh give you kind of my overall on them let's get things turned around and take a closer look at these sockets and stop looking at my ugly mug Okay, so here we have, this is your basic set that you get, and with coupon, it's like 10 or $11. And uh, tried to go through the, kind of peruse through the book, the latest and greatest on that, but I wasn't able to find a coupon. But usually they send them out in mailers either way. So you got 10 through 17, then you've got 19 and 21. It's not an absolute complete set. 18 and 20 are obviously missing. Uh, Probably because they think, well, the other set comes with three quarter and you can use a three quarter on an 18 pretty safely, especially in the six point. However, it is a little bit different. Now, uh, as you can see, some of these I do use more than others. That's just the nature of how things went down uh, the past couple months in using them. Overall, uh, fairly impressed considering now, here for instance, 10 millimeter I have used some. A uh, little bit of knurling around the edges of uh, where the anvil comes into play. And then you'll notice that around the 13 a little bit as well. And mostly what these see is just ratchet and a torque wrench. Um, overall, 15 held up a lot better. Uh, six months worth of use, well, it's a $10 socket, so I'd say it's done pretty fair. Uh, like I said, these have not had any impacts. A 10 obviously suffered the worst. And literally, all these guys see is ratchets and torque wrenches. So we're going to take that into mind. There again, let's get another closer look at that for you all. Six months. Now let's look at, you know, six years on this guy, which I've used the crap out of. That is the Cobalt, made in Taiwan, 13 millimeter. Uh, here is Blue Point, 15 millimeter, that I've had uh, over three years now, roundabouts. I do use that one quite a bit, especially with torque wrenches. So comparable where in several years 
over the course of several months as far as that goes. Uh, Snap-on 5 8 this socket has been used literally thousands of times uh, extracting spark plugs. This is not a regular spark plug socket because you have the boot inside of, well, you guys understand that. You guys have seen it. So this one literally been used thousands of times and there you have it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Blue point 10 millimeter stubby. Uh, there again, three years, use it all the time and uh, pretty nominal wear there as well. And I think these ones are of Taiwanese manufacture possibly as well. There you have it. So let's talk about the uh, blue point on the left and then the Quinn on the right. Um, three years, six months. And then uh, three quarter, this is the half deep three quarter inch. I know apples to oranges, blah, blah, blah. That I do use a lot as well. And there you have the wear on that one also. And this one does get abused a little bit more. Overall, uh, aside from missing the 18, even if they took away the 21 and gave me the 18, I'd be a little bit happier with the, that as far as set completion. Um, I'm a six point socket guy just cause uh, I've had bad juju in the past trying to use a 12 pointed uh, cheaper socket on a six point sturdier fastener. Now, as far as wear goes, pretty fair. It's got some gunk in there. Probably should have sprayed these out a little bit better, get some better reflection. 13, let me see, that's 12, that's 13. Uh, 13's holding up fairly well on the open end as well. I can recommend these, $10. I think you're getting a pretty decent socket set for 10, 11 bucks with your coupon. Uh, over time, it might break down on holding on to your ratchet, but uh, $10, uh, you put this in your road kit or you put this set in a tool bag for your old lady's car in your Jeep. Uh, if you lose one, you're not out a whole lot. If you happen to break one, you're not out a whole lot. And if you happen to, uh, well, if they happen to get stolen, you know, on say a roadside kit or something that you have in your vehicle, your own vehicle uh, roadside repair kit, if that gets broken into and they steal these, well, you're not out the cost of, you know, something like that. Is uh, let's face it, this one socket will pay for all of these sockets. Uh, it would be a good set to kind of start off with. Like I said, my biggest pet peeve on them, is just the 18 and the 20 are not included in the set. Uh, the blue point sets, they go clear up to 24 millimeter, not skipping a size. And there are other ones out there, skipping a size is a big deal to you. Uh, or you can just see if Lowe's still happens to have some uh, of theirs and just get a regular 18 and a 20 and then you'll have a full set up to 21. So there you have it. Biggest complaint is uh, those two missing and over time they might wear down a bit but you're not going to be out a whole lot and at that point in time you probably have several others you just take them to harbor freight uh, depending on how close one is and warranty them out and uh worst comes to worse is you just get another set for ten dollars and then you use the one that's starting to fall off uh, make it into a tool by welding it onto something and being creative is uh that's another place where harbor freight does have its spot is if you do need to uh, modify tools you don't have to spend a whole lot in case something breaks. So, recommend? Sure, honestly. 
they haven't busted on me so far. Uh, and like I said, I have yet to try impacts on them, but that might be coming. And so I do have to give a very special shout out to Brad's workbench. Find a link to his channel up here and down below as after all, he was the one that hounded me on how great these things were and they're like better than sliced bread and $10 this and it's the best one ever. Uh, they're, they're a good socket. $10 for the whole set. That's it. You know. Thank you, Brad, for the suggestion and it was a good one. Because if it wasn't, I'd have been riding your ass about it. Now... Remember, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. You screw something up, somebody could die. And, uh, oh, by the way, don't forget, the BCB 3000, 3000 subscribers giveaway is still going on. So, do have to be a subscriber in order to win. I'll post a link down below and up here as well. So, you can go see if it's worth your time. And until next time, we're out. Thank <laughs> you.